Passenger hears soldiers talk, then reaches into his face and does the most unexpected thing. As the sun rose over the horizon, Mark Wilson made his way through the bustling airport, his mind preoccupied with the day ahead. A seasoned traveler, Mark was on his way to Ottawa for a business meeting, the trip he had made countless times before. He navigated the airport with the ease of experience, passing through security checks and heading towards the lounge area to grab a meal before his flight. Settling into a corner table, Mark ordered a sandwich and a coffee. As he waited for his order, he observed the diverse array of travelers around him. Families with children, solo adventurers, business professionals, each person on their own journey, each with their own story. It was a scene he had witnessed many times, yet it never ceased to intrigue him. His meal arrived, and he ate slowly, savoring the quiet moment before the inevitable rush to board. With his hunger sated, he made his way to the boarding gate, where the flight attendant checked his boarding pass and directed him to his seat. He stowed his carry-on luggage in the overhead compartment and settled into his window seat, securing his seatbelt and preparing for the long flight ahead. As he got comfortable, Mark noticed a group of soldiers boarding the plane. They moved with a sense of camaraderie, their uniforms crisp and their expressions a mix of determination and calm. Two of the soldiers took seats near Mark, and he gave them a polite nod before returning to his book. The plane filled up quickly, and soon the captain's voice crackled over the intercom, announcing the final preparations for takeoff. The engines roared to life, and the plane ascended into the sky, leaving the bustling city below. Mark glanced out the window, watching as the landscape transformed into a patchwork quilt of fields and forests. Once the plane reached cruising altitude, the flight attendants began their rounds, offering snacks and beverages. An announcement came over the speakers informing passengers that sack lunches were available for purchase at $5 each. Mark, having just eaten, declined the offer, but his attention was drawn to the conversation between the two soldiers seated nearby. Are you going to get a sack lunch? One soldier asked his companion. Nah, it's too expensive for what it is. I'll wait until we get to the base, the other replied. Their conversation struck a chord with Mark. He knew that these young men were heading to Ottawa for training before being deployed into active duty. The thought of them skimping on a meal because of the cost tugged at his heartstrings. Without a second thought, he reached into his own briefcase, removing his reading glasses, then put his hands into his jacket pocket and pulled out $50. Excusing himself, Mark made his way to the front of the plane where the flight attendant was stationed. He handed her the money and quietly asked her to provide sack lunches for all ten soldiers on board. The flight attendant, moved by his generosity, nodded with tears in her eyes and promised to fulfill his request. Returning to his seat, Mark felt a sense of satisfaction, knowing he had done something meaningful. As the flight attendant began distributing the sack lunches to the soldiers, their surprised and grateful expressions were enough to bring a smile to his face. One by one, they looked around, trying to identify the kind stranger who had made their journey a little easier. The flight attendant whispered to the captain about the generous act, and soon the pilot himself emerged from the cockpit. He walked down the aisle, stopping at Mark's seat. Sir, on behalf of the entire crew and these soldiers, I want to thank you for your kindness, he said, shaking Mark's hand firmly. The captain's words drew the attention of other passengers who began to murmur amongst themselves. Before long, a few passengers approached Mark, offering him money to add to his initial donation. By the end of the collection, he had received $75 more, which he planned to give to the soldiers for additional meals once they reached their base. As the plane continued its journey, the atmosphere shifted, the mood was lighter, and there was a palpable sense of camaraderie among the passengers. Conversations flowed more freely, and the soldiers who had initially been reserved now engaged in animated discussions with those around them. Mark spent the remainder of the flight chatting with the soldiers seated nearby. He learned about their backgrounds, their aspirations, and the challenges they faced. Their stories were a reminder of the sacrifices made by those in uniform, and Mark felt a deep sense of respect for their commitment and bravery. As the plane began its descent into Ottawa, the captain's voice once again filled the cabin, thanking all the passengers for their cooperation and wishing them well. The flight attendant returned to Mark's seat, handing him a small envelope. 
The soldiers wanted you to have this, she said with a smile. Opening the envelope, Mark found a handwritten note from the soldiers, expressing their gratitude for his unexpected generosity. They thanked him for not only the meal, but also for reminding them that there were people who appreciated their service. As the plane touched down and taxied to the gate, Mark felt a profound sense of fulfillment. The events of the flight had reaffirmed his belief in the power of small acts of kindness. He disembarked with a renewed sense of purpose, carrying with him the heartfelt note from the soldiers. The experience stayed with Mark long after he left the airport. It became a story he shared with friends and family, a testament to the impact of compassion and generosity. It was a reminder that in a world often divided by differences, acts of kindness could bring people together in the most unexpected ways. Back at home, Mark placed the soldier's note in a frame and hung it on the wall of his study. It served as a daily reminder of the flight to Ottawa and the powerful lesson he had learned. Every time he looked at it, he was reminded of the importance of reaching out to others, of offering a helping hand without expecting anything in return. Mark continued to travel for work, but he approached each journey with a renewed perspective. He became more mindful of the people around him, looking for opportunities to make a positive impact, no matter how small. He found joy in these acts of kindness, knowing that they had the power to change someone's day, or even their life. In the end, the flight to Ottawa was more than just a routine business trip. It was a transformative experience that reinforced the value of empathy and generosity. It showed that even in the most ordinary of circumstances, there was always an opportunity to make a difference. Mark's story spread beyond his circle of friends and family, inspiring others to look for ways to show kindness in their own lives. It became a beacon of hope, a reminder that in a world filled with challenges, there were always moments of light, moments where humanity shone through. As Mark reflected on the journey, he realized that the true destination was not a place, but a state of being, one where compassion and understanding guided his actions. It was a lesson he carried with him, one that would continue to shape his life and the lives of those he touched along the way. In the end, it wasn't just the soldiers who were grateful for Mark's kindness. Mark himself felt blessed to have been part of such a meaningful experience. It was a journey that transcended the physical flight, taking him to new heights of empathy and connection. And so, the story of the flight to Ottawa became a cherished memory, a testament to the enduring power of kindness and the unexpected ways in which it could transform lives. It was a story that reminded everyone who heard it that sometimes the most impactful journeys were the ones we took within ourselves, guided by the simple yet profound act of reaching out to others. This story teaches us that acts of kindness, no matter how small, can have a profound impact on others. Mark's gesture of buying lunches for the soldiers and the subsequent reactions from the flight crew and passengers highlight the ripple effect that one good deed can create. It demonstrates that compassion and empathy can bridge divides, foster connections, and inspire others to act generously. Moreover, the story emphasizes the importance of recognizing and appreciating the sacrifices made by those who serve our country. It reminds us that showing gratitude and respect to our military personnel can go a long way in uplifting their spirits and acknowledging their dedication. In a world often divided by differences, this story is a powerful reminder that kindness and understanding can bring people together. It challenges us to look beyond appearances and act with humanity and generosity in our everyday lives. What small act of kindness have you experienced or witnessed that left a lasting impact on you? Share your story in the comments below and inspire others to spread kindness.